I'm Ardea Russo, and I'm the Director of Academic Standards here at Notre Dame. I want to take a few minutes to talk to students about generative AI and its implications for academic integrity. We're living in a time when facts are often disputed and disinformation is everywhere. And so you might be asking yourself whether academic integrity even matters anymore, but I think it matters now more than ever. It ensures that your Notre Dame degree has value and represents not only what you truly know and can do, but who you are. When you conduct yourself with honesty and integrity, you're affirming the value of the truth and living the university's mission of the pursuit and sharing of truth for its own sake. Generative AI has changed the world, revolutionizing how we work, and you will more than likely use it in your future career. And likewise, the university recognizes the need to prepare you to use these tools effectively and responsibly. But it's critical to understand that building foundational knowledge has to come first. Why is that? Because Generative AI is not infallible. You need to have the expertise to evaluate what it tells you. It makes mistakes that sound convincing. It often misunderstands context and it cannot make nuanced judgments. You need to be able to recognize these limitations and not accept its output uncritically. Even with AI readily available on our computers and on our mobile devices, there is still knowledge that you need to carry around in your head. Imagine a future colleague coming to your office to ask for your expertise, or a client asking you a question over dinner. You need to be able to answer without having to consult an AI tool first. Let's quickly review the university's policy on the use of generative AI tools in your coursework. Representing work that you did not produce as your own, including work generated or materially modified by AI, constitutes academic dishonesty. Use of generative AI in a way that violates an instructor's articulated policy or using it to complete coursework in a way not expressly permitted by the faculty member will be considered a violation of the honor code. So remember these three key points. Every professor can set their own rules for generative AI use, so always follow their instructions. Don't assume that is true for one class is true for another. Professors can make their own decisions about what to allow and what to prohibit, and they should be clear about what constitutes academic dishonesty in their courses. Never submit work that has been generated or modified by generative AI as your own. Our honor code requires that the work you submit must reflect your own effort and your own understanding. And finally, do not use generative AI to complete your coursework unless it has been explicitly permitted by your instructor. However, AI can still help to support your learning. It's a valuable tool for brainstorming, for getting help with concepts you don't understand, or for creating practice problems or study guides. But remember, if a professor asks you not to use it, then stay away from it in that class. Let's talk about editing tools, such as Grammarly or WordTune. They might seem harmless, but take a minute to think about what they do. They no longer only check spelling and grammar, they're powered by AI, and they suggest AI-generated text to use in place of your own writing. When you use their suggestions, it is no longer entirely your own work. So when a professor prohibits the use of generative AI on an assignment, it includes these editing tools. The purpose of assignments is to build your knowledge and develop your skills, and your professors want to hear your voice and see your thought process, not read AI-polished work. Remember, when you use generative AI, it should support you and assist your learning, not do your work for you. Your priority while you're in college should be developing your own knowledge and your own skills. Think about who you want to be five years from now. Do you want to do your work confidently, knowing that you've mastered the material that you learned in your courses? Or will you be less sure of yourself and relying on technology to fill in gaps in your knowledge? Taking academic integrity seriously now is a commitment to your future self. So commit to your learning now and you'll excel in the age of generative AI.